Hey guys, today I'll be demoing how to run ARP request scans using Python and Scapy. So Scapy is the Kali Linux tool that comes uh, pre-installed in, in um, Kali Linux, but you can also you know, uh, download it and install it via GitHub on various other distributions. But we're not going to spend too much time on the installation process because I've already spoken about that in uh, my previous slides. So let's just get right into it. So Starting off, I've already um, listed out all the different commands that I'll be showcasing, uh, as you can see right here, with all of these different tabs. And so to start off with this, um, this Python tab, we're going to run a simple scapy arping uh, command or function, and we're going to scan the gateway. So um, right here, we've imported the scapy module, and we've renamed it as just scapy instead of typing dot all for all of them. So you're going to see this uh, in repetition throughout all of the tabs. So moving on, let's go ahead and pull up the first scan. So let's see what this looks like. So super easy. What you see is what you get. We got one packet, one reply, uh, MAC address, IP address. Very predictable, right? So. The next, uh, the next file, what we're going to do is we're going to scan the entire subnet, right? So it's going to be the same, same thing, except we have the forward slash uh, 24 right here, indicating that we're going to scan the entire subnet. So let's pull two, sending out 256 packets, and we get three, three back, right? So the MAC address is all right here. And the three IP addresses, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4. Cool. Everything is working like a charm right now. So moving on to uh, netscan3.py. So this is where uh, we start, you know, kind of playing with all the different Scapy tools. So Scapy has a tool called scapy.ls, which, you know, functions kind of like an ls-fla command. And this basically prints out a full summary of, of the whole field, right? So what we can do right here is we can pull the NetScan 3, and this gives us a, a better, you know, a better perspective, better visibility on the, um, the data fields and the values of the, the packet. And so from this point, we can really start narrowing in on what we want to either... Um, you know, exploit if you were a hacker or, you know, just if you're just a network security person that's just running your maintenance and making sure everything looks exactly the way it should, this is a great starting point to actually, you know, just start uh, with your, your security policies and, you know, provisions and such. So that's what this looks like. Next, We'll go back over here and go into four. And so with four, what we're doing is uh, we're pinpointing the PDST IP parameter, right? So if you guys remember from uh, our previous scan, um, PDST shows up right here in this field, right? And PDST points to the IP field value. And so that really holds a lot of value for anybody who is trying to plan an attack, like a man in the middle attack, or whatever it is, that this is the point where you're able to actually like rewire um, IP addresses and you know come in with uh, different you know configurations and such uh, to fool the the network security system. So uh, what we're gonna do is we'll pull the four dot py and see what that does. And it says right here, so ARP who has net, uh, one of the IP addresses, any IP address in that subnet, and we get dot .15, right? So cool. Next, uh, moving on to 5.py. Um, this one, we're also setting another parameter, uh, creating a uh, scapy.ethernet frame. So this uh, scapy uh, function creates an ethernet frame uh, and then we're going to name that with uh, the variable broadcast and we're going to print all of this out in a summary. So let's see what this looks like. OK, 
Okay, simple. MAC address to virtual MAC address. Easy, right? So MAC address to virtual MAC address. Okay. All right, next, we're going to move on to uh, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And let me pull up a better view of all my tabs. And for 6, uh, this one, what we're going to do is we're actually going to uh, consolidate two different um, two different variables, the ARP request and the broadcast request, and we're going to append that all into one as seen right here. So we're going to have one entry with the ARP request um, listed in the parameter. It will be the PDST for the IP. And then the next function is going to be the broadcast function um, listing the Ethernet frame and that will have the value or the parameter of DST with the virtual MAC address. Then the third, we will have the appended one where we're consolidating two different variables into one and we will print all of that right here. So we'll see what this looks like, okay? And we get the consolidated field requesting for any IP address within that network, the Ethernet frame of that subnet, and we get a reply from 2.15. Okay, so, so that's working. And now for NetScan 7, so this one, we're basically running the exact same function as uh, the previous uh, file. However, the only difference is we really want to see we want to see what all of these uh, data packets look like, right? So this is kind of like concatenating uh, on Python using uh, the, the, the dot show um, bracket function, right? So we're going to add this command line underneath every single function line, variable function line. And then in doing so, what it'll do is it'll give us a, a much better... Um, you know, uh, documentation of what we're what we're doing. So let's see what this looks like. Seven. And as you can see, it's it's perfectly sectioned out. So we have the ARP request right here. And then that's showing all of this. It's showing the PDST that we've set right there. And it's it's showing with uh, the Ethernet, right? And then so uh, next we have our broadcast where we're using the scapy Ethernet frame to show us uh, the DST field with the virtual MAC address of FF, you know, FFFFF. And so that is shown right over here. And then last but not least, we have our appended uh, consolidated, you know, entry with the ARP request and the, the broadcast. Um, variable and all of that is shown right here with Ethernet being the the broadcast variable this one shows the type being ARP and the ARP request down here right and so this is really cool because it, it gives you a full insiders look on what the packet looks like okay and so next we're going to look at all the answered and unanswered uh, replies so to start off, we'll start off with the answered. Um, so let me edit that real quick. And then Okay, so these are all of the answered replies as we've seen in our previous uh, scripts. So Everything is neatly, you know, uh, expressed and very easy to read. I love it. Okay, next we're going to see all of the hundreds of unanswered requests, right? So just edit that real quick and then go back and pull the same uh, Python file and it shows all the ones that didn't. Um, actually get back to us, right? Because essentially the ARP requests, if it doesn't have the information that we're looking for, it just kind of like ignores you. So that is 
the end of my demo. Thank you.